Greetings boys and girls all across YouTube land. It is first week of October and we are post cold front here. We got uh, Hurricane Ian just moved out and I'm gonna set this camera down here. And uh, he just got uh, moved out here over the weekend, dropped some rain, about two inches of rain, a little bit of windy conditions. And so what we're looking at is a post cold front and one of my favorite ways to hunt. Uh, a lot of people like pre-front, I like a post-front, and that's what we're looking at. It's about 60 degrees, uh, not much wind, supposed to get cool tonight down around 40 or so, and April will be in the stand tonight, so we're going to get her loaded up, and things have changed a little bit for the wife since last year. She missed all of the 2021 season with a bad foot injury, and it's one of those things, you just kind of had to let it run its course. She actually hurt it just before turkey season there in March. And you know how insurance companies work. They make you go through all the PT stuff and all the different tests only to realize, yep, you need surgery. So uh, October the 4th last year, guess what happened? She goes under the knife. They uh, do all the necessary repairs in the foot itself. They uh, reattach the Achilles. And she's about a year into rehab right now. She's not 100%, but she can at least get around. And in addition to that, she's uh, been experiencing some rather... Uh, uh, extensive vision issues. It's created some some issues. Uh, being able to see through her peep and some downrange uh, focusing. So she is now transitioned into a crossbow. And as my buddy Jeremy Johnson says, everything has to be bedazzled accordingly. You know. So we got the the pink wraps and so on and so forth. And uh, we moved into a Grim Reaper broadhead this year. Uh, couldn't find the typical Rage Extreme that we like to use. So. We're gonna get everything finished up here. She's in there getting her scent free shower now, get everything uh, rolled up into one little bundle into the vehicle and we'll get moving here just in the next little while. But the spot she's going to, it's been good to us over the years. Lots of activity. I, uh, I closed a deal on, a, on an older deer there during rifle season uh, a few years ago. Uh, deer we called four lanes. Um, and then she killed, uh, she killed a big deer uh, a big five-year-old uh, two years later after that in there and it's a pretty neat setup a lot of a lot of uh, high deer density in the area it's not uncommon to see 25 30 deer a night and in addition to that it's a high buck volume in there as well so she got to be on her a game make sure she shoots the right deer not to not to be pulling the trigger on something young i'm sure she's going to have a little bit of a trigger finger uh, this evening this will be her first night in the stand in two years because like i said she missed all of last year so we'll get her settled in and uh, i'd say you're looking oh probably around four o'clock we'll get there so we'll see what happens from there
drag him, hold his head up over it too, Ross, where I can get a picture of him. Okay. Jack, come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come, Jack. Come. Come. Come, boy. Come. Come, boy. Come here. That's what Chris was counting on. <laughs> Oh, this video is going to make me famous. <laughs> You're getting better and better, boy. Huh? Yeah, I seen him win. I seen him win him when he came down through here. I just didn't see the deer. She was on him when he right started. There. Yeah, when he started that up the truck. I mean, she smelled him mm -hmm. and then the thermal or something shifted and they didn't have him. But he was actually in the water right up there. You got some pretty talented dogs. All right. Pretty talented dogs. Yeah, they they know a whole lot. Last year, I'd have been pulling them back there and pulling them up here. I learned on your truck. I learned a lot on your truck. Okay, I'm just, you know, every, when you said she hit, okay, I wanted to go. Uh, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. He'll be good and tender. Yeah. <laughs> Did it come out to hit a place? Uh-huh. It's not, it's not as bad a placement as I thought it would be. Yeah. That's what's holding it. You have to take water hoses up. 